All right, hello everybody. This is SPK here. Brings you game two between Focus and Happy. And we've seen game one. Focus has turned his Blade Master into a shade. <laughs> That's how he lost the game, pretty much. He didn't level his Blade Master uh, up enough so that Happy, when Happy do a frontal assault, he couldn't defend with the proper heroes. But let's see what he what he can do in this game. Um, <laughs> I think a blade master um, that blade master of focuses wanted to be a shade when he was a kid when it was in you know, his childhood dreams to be a shade and um, <laughs> and, and 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 when he when he was recruited at focus he just um, he just say all right uh, I'm I'm going to I'm going to accomplish my childhood dream and be a shade and not do any damage <laughs> during uh, during mid game and that's how he lost the game and uh, let's see what he can do in this game. This is Echo Isles, and the Blade Master couldn't. The Blade Master couldn't do that much of a uh, that many things in, on this map, because just because there's so few so few creep camps around. Anyway, should have mentioned Focus is the Yellow Orc player spawning at 10 o'clock, and Happy is the Blue Undead player spawning at uh, 2 o'clock, and uh, we're going to. <coughs> excuse me, we're going to. Um, we're gonna see an uh, orc versus undead, and of course another fiend rush uh, build from Happy. Happy doesn't have enough food, so um, just that's that's what you get for doing a fiend rush. It allows you to get two fiends out quickly, but uh, you, uh, you need uh, you need to get your heroes out uh, a little later than uh, than all uh, all other races. Anyway, if, uh, any um, the focus of doing the standard orc thing, shop after the burrow, no escaping barracks or escaping burrows or anything. Any craziness? Here comes the Blade Master. He's going to uh, just uh, chill around. <laughs> Let's hope this Blade Master doesn't turn to a shade. Here we go. Uh, Blade Master is sticking the creep camp and lure them out. And so when your ground is ensnared, it also can do damage. And after this creep is done, I think that ensnare is going to be worn out. See the ensnare is flashing, and that's it's going to worn out soon here. There we go. And um, I think this is the only way. This is one of the only ways you can do. You can creep as an undead player. I'm sorry, as an orc player, on this map. Now I don't think you can. You can do the blade master trick to get okay, the blade master to stand right here or here to uh, you know, avoid avoid damage avoid damage from these ogre lords, the warriors, and chop down this ogre magi. Pick up a level three um, item. That'd be good. And uh, let's see what. Uh, what we'll focus um, uh, Happy has to do here? Happy is a very uh, good upcoming not a, a dead player. Given there uh, <laughs> there aren't there aren't a lot of undead player out there. <laughs> I'll say uh, two out of ten uh, pro pros are undead, or even one one and a half out of ten. Um, like fifteen percent of pro players are undead. I feel like just because their race is so freaking hard to time as far as timing and uh, also base block. I want to mention a little bit, a little bit about base blocking. Uh, if you, um, I'm not gonna slow down the video. Um, just the peon getting killed. I'll just go, go over this real quick. See the ziggurats. Ziggurats don't have any uh, building buffer around them, so you can have one uh, space between the ziggurat and Blade Master won't be able to get through. And also, you can have one space uh, be between ziggurat and the trees, and uh, Blade Master won't be able to get through. However, shops and to uh, Shops and uh, altar and graveyard and uh, all the every, everything else except uh, the necropolis has one building buffer around, so you can so you have to put the ziggurat next to the next to another building to block it to uh, to to av avoid any uh, hero to walk by walk through it. And uh, one that that gives you one building uh, one space between the ziggurat and the shop. And uh, normally, hero needs two spaces. To um to walk through no no not normally every hero needs two spaces even small hero like Blade Master or uh, or uh, Dark Ranger anyway Blade Master is going to uh, creep uh, focusing on creep out of this camp uh, back what I was saying uh, Necropolis and Hall of the Dead or uh, the um, uh, Black Citadel or uh, um, all three of those has two building buffers so never ever block your undead base just putting down buildings here and here hoping. Hoping no, nothing can get through, and any hero will just walk right through it. A every unit just walk right through it. Uh, of course, big units like uh, um, meat wagons or, uh, or uh, uh, bigger units like bears won't be able. Uh, beasts won't be able to face through. But why would you want to? Uh, uh, you're gonna do damage outside. It, uh, and uh, back. Um, that's. I hope you guys can learn enough about about base blocking. 
and it's uh, every map is different uh, kind of, uh, is a different base blocking strategy that's why undead is so hard to use and of course their units are expensive as hell um, they're, oh man they're, their units are so expensive or overpriced units I have to say um, but they do they do pay off in late game I have to say fiends fiends and golds can be used in late game and this is a trade off you're gonna get with as undead because your, your units are expensive but golds in late game with the gold frenzy can really do some damage. They remind me the they're the closest thing to cracklings and in, in Warcraft and and to resemble Starcraft. And my sheep's gonna get killed. Ah, uh, poor sheep. Oh man, those fiends are about to get had to be coiled here. And here's the coil. Okay. Blade Master is gonna get focused down, and Blade Master is going to have to one walk out of there and probably get dusted before it happens. No, uh, nope. Heavy's gonna go get a dust. Heavy's gonna get a sell a ring, get a dust, and pick up a couple skeletons and here comes a slaughterhouse in tier th tier 3 uh, we've seen we've seen the same thing last game uh, of another tier 3 for focus uh, let's see if he spends 600 gold and 300, two, 300, 200 lumber to get another orb of lightning that is to get tier 3 and just to get orb of lightning I have no idea the strategy behind that the logic behind that for, for, for a fact uh, anyway Happy is not going to pick up a lich uh, I don't, I don't see a lich. Does he have a lich? No, he doesn't have a lich. <laughs> Another uh, interesting build from Happy. Maybe, maybe he feel like he had game one in the bag. He can do some uh, start ex uh, experimenting something different. And here, uh, Blade Master is going to just keep being the shade. Uh, <laughs> we've seen Grubby does uh, does this all the time, but but the difference from Grubby, difference from Grubby is uh, he uses Blade Master to to, uh, go, uh, to he uses Grabby uses Blade Master to gain map control, just because the the other player wouldn't be able to creep without without dust or anything. Um, that, that that's why you have a map uh, uh, kind of a map control with the Blade Master. But he's not using his Blade Master to gain map control. He's just scouting with the Blade Master. <laughs> um, although Undead is just turtling his base, I don't know why. Maybe he's waiting for the Lich. But still, the Happy. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to just go creep and get his fiend jacked. Uh, I mean, get his fiend uh, picked off by the Blade Master. And uh, let's see what uh, um, what focus decides to get. Focus is still a tier three. I'm almost done. Uh, here goes the war mail. Let's let's hope this is not a, a overpriced orb of lightning. Uh, here comes the lich and. Um, of course, um, of course, all the corruption is a must have for undead players. I believe every race, for that matter, every race has a, a must have item out of their shop. For 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 night elves, it's probably the staff. Night elf has to have the staff. Human has to have the um, a score regeneration. You see, you see people get these items every game almost. And undead has to have the uh, rotten rotten necromancy and the orb of corruption. And of course, Orc has to have the Orcs have to have the um, healing cells and curry potions for the Blade Master and the and the uh, Shadow Hunter. And Focus is gonna finish off the Orange Camp here, and he picked up a Pendant of Energy. I believe he's gonna pass that to the Lich, and and uh, Blade Master is gonna uh, item creep this uh, item creep this or uh, Green Camp picked up uh, something. I think it's the Tome of 